What happens in neighborhoods where the self-esteem has been overshadowed by the decay and the children no longer play the way they used to? Where young boys choose to follow figures that had no father figures, a place where lives have been reduced to mere names on a nigga wall. A lot of dead shames on a nigga wall because most of my childhood friends died over some dumb shit. It's like we all on some slum shit. Whatever happened to that, we shall overcome shit. Nigga, where I'm from, shit. They done tore down the projects and took away neighborhood sports. It's a place where little black boys put on jerseys and shorts. Dream big about stardom on fine hardwood courts, but awake to the harsh reality of the stripped, unfinished inner city floor where life splinters. Cold winters are sheltered by crack houses instead of recreational centers that they claim to not have the paper to keep open for operation. The deconstruction of the black family has been in perpetuation ever since Willie Lynch set his theory in motion. Decharacterization was his sole promotion. Therefore, if you take the basketball out of his face and put the coke in his place, he'll still score. What's a young boy to do when he doesn't want to do wrong, but there's a lock on the right door? When he has the heart of a soldier, the aggression of a prize fighter, but no one's taught him what to fight for. See, most of our families are fatherless and quite poor, so we miss out on meals as well as kisses and hugs. You've got the audacity to cut the funding for the facilities that keep us off the streets, then ask us why we sell drugs. But imagine if niggas put down their dice and guns, picked up their daughters and sons, and put a little love right there where the hate is. Imagine if niggas had the chance to become accountants before being taught what the difference between wet and dry weight is. Imagine if these little inner city kids had the same type of schools that these rich kids have way out there in the sticks. Imagine if niggas had the chance to learn chemistry for real before we learned how to whip seven and a half out of six. Imagine if these little black girls could go to that dance school for free and learn to love the dream of that Broadway show. Imagine if she wasn't forced into a game where you assume a filthy name and put your soul and your ass up for show. Imagine if she was taught to love herself, imitate no one, demand and demonstrate respect when she walks through the door. Imagine if she watched the telly and saw herself during the primetime hour instead of the four o'clock video whore. Imagine.